then after I found out I was pregnant, I realised that my passport had run out, so I had to stay pregnant for about five or six weeks um, until I could actually travel over to England to have an abortion. And um, I, I couldn't tell my... I felt like I didn't know if I could tell my doctor, and I, and I was dealing with doctors and nurses that I didn't know, and was in a place that I wasn't overly familiar with. And then after the abortion, when everyone else went home, I got on the train to Gatwick and I stood on that train for an hour leading. Um, and then I waited in an airport for, for four hours before I could fly home, rather than just going home to, to bed. And didn't even know if I could ask for any aftercare afterwards. I was too afraid to go to my doctor for a checkup because I just didn't know what was legal and what was not. So that was the impact of the Eighth Amendment for me personally.